finish up here, um, just some tips. And I think I have, like I said, I think I've learned uh, a few tips as we've gone on. But the, the, I think this, this tool, for me at least now, where I'm at with the tool, the planning is a critical piece. Because I find it very tedious to have to go back and move things around. Um, if I decide I want it to look, the map to look differently. I don't know if you can, is that the same thing you're experiencing? Yeah. So I think if I, uh, you know, I really want to have it as close to the way I finally want it uh, when, I, when I put it, put it together. Um, I, I say go easy on the zebra. Um, I think it's, um, it, it's, it's really easy to, uh, you know, I, I don't know the fine motor skills or whatever, but I, just drag it a little bit and it, it blows up real big and it shrinks down to almost nothing. The zooming seems to be a little quick for me. So I think you really have to go, go slow when you're, when you're using that tool. Um, the grouping in the frames, the thing I didn't point out there is the thing people are complaining about now with Prezi, everybody's been crying about uh, PowerPoint making it stupid for all these years and they've, they've fallen in love with Prezi, but already people are saying Prezi makes me dizzy. Um, the, when you see somebody's presentation and they're flying all over the screen, you get, um, you like, feel like you're at the IMAX or something and you're uh, on the roller coaster getting sick. So uh, be careful about that. Um, and uh, you want to, you're going to need to practice. I mean, if you're taking advantage of the nonlinear features of this, you're going to need to see how you can move your cursor around to zoom, how the up and down arrows help you zoom in and out. Um, uh, it's just going to take some time to, to get used to just the way PowerPoint did initially for you. Um, and don't be afraid to mix PowerPoint and Prezi together. Um, you might find the easiest way to make a Prezi the first time is to make a PowerPoint and then export all the slides out as PDFs. And then uh, it might, you know, anybody watching this video that's a, a Prezi fanatic is probably uh, I've, I've committed blasphemy there, but, but um, I, I just think the two can work together. And there's even a, uh, there's a YouTube video where someone shows that they've embedded a Prezi inside of a PowerPoint. So you might just have one thing in a PowerPoint that you want uh, to take advantage of some of the nonlinear features. And so they were able to just embed it in there and move around on that, that one slide. Um, finally, uh, I think, I mean, my biggest frustration in, in trying to make this transition or trying to, I mean, there were several times where I started with it and then I'd, I'd just run into something uh, where I, I wasn't quite satisfied with like how it was framing things or whatever and so I just stopped for a while. But I think it is, what we know is what we like. When we already uh, have experience with something we're looking for those features, and so when you don't immediately find those, it can be uh, frustrating, and you, you, you know, you may just say, I'm not going to do this. Uh, but I think it is worth, you know, it's worth exploring. There are things that you can do with this that you can't do with PowerPoint. And so I think it's another tool for you to use in the classroom, and so I think if you can just continue to ask questions, uh, and there is a learn uh, tab uh, within the Prezi um, website that has a lot of information. There's a manual there, and I think if we can just, uh, you know, ask, ask me, ask each other questions, uh, we, can, we can take this tool to where it needs to be uh, to make it, you know, a, a, a good tool in our arsenal of tools that we're using for um, helping uh, improve teaching and learning.